So uh, in this video we will discuss uh, some uh, problems related to the electrocyclic uh, reactions okay so the first problem uh, identify the direction of rotation of the following thermal electrocyclic ring closures respectively so they've given two reactions and they have indicated that it is a thermal electrocyclic ring closure so it is it involves uh, thermal condition so you have that in now okay so you should uh, find the direction of rotation that is the question right so either it is con rotation or dis rotation you have to find that only now before that i told you already so before doing anything you should first ask the question whether all the pi electrons in the reactant are involved in cyclization that is the first question so now let's see here so you can see the reactant and product so the it would have formed like this okay it will come here and this bond will shift here and this bond will shift here right so it comes here and this goes and this comes here then only you get the product like this right so you see all the pi electrons are involved in cyclization so total is three pi bonds so six pi electrons so it belongs to 4n plus 2 system yes so you can see 4n plus 2 system under thermal condition this is the woodward hoffman rule right so 4n plus 2 under thermal condition it is this so the answer is this rotation for this question the second one you see whether all are involved in cyclization yes uh, let's do it so this will shift here and this will go here and finally this attaches here correct so when this happens you get the structure like this and you see that all the pi electrons are involved in cyclization so it is also 4n plus 2 so 4n plus 2 under thermal condition it is again this so the option a is the correct answer so both have this and this rotations okay <coughs> so the explanation is given here you can just go through okay uh, the second question you consider the following electrocyclic reaction and you identify which reaction is a con rotatory ring closure you have to find that before uh, getting to this question let me explain you the concept okay if a stereochemical arrangement is given so you can see here the compound is like this the reactant is like this but your product has some stereochemistry right see here your reactant is like this and the product has some stereochemistry so this it will be confusing a bit in your exams okay so in order to avoid that confusion let us go into some tricks okay so i'll teach you a trick that you see here con rotation and dis rotation is there con you remember you just change stereochemistry c c change stereochemistry dis means starts with d no so you don't change the stereochemistry that's it you remember only this hint con means change stereochemistry dis so starts with d so don't change stereochemistry okay let me explain you this this idea with an example now i want to do a ring closure okay so i am going to perform a ring closure so this is my reactant here okay so how this ring closure will happen like this so how it is it is happening means okay like this right it will happen like this okay now you can see that your substituents are present over here so you should know to write your reactants in a proper stereochemical arrangement you see here uh, this methyl and this methyl are in the same direction see how this methyl is arranged the same way this methyl is also arranged so they both are in same direction so you can tell that it is a cis so what i do for cis you can draw like this right for cis you can put a wedge bond or you can put both dotted bonds and you can represent so here i am representing like this now i have a cis reactant my reactant is cis now what i do i do thermal and photochemical condition you know that it is a 4n plus 2 system why so here all the pi bonds are involved in cyclization so 6 pi electrons so 4n plus 2 system for 4n plus 2 system under thermal condition see here 4n plus 2 under thermal condition it is this so what i have to do is i have to perform this so for this what i told don't change the stereochemistry okay so for this don't change the stereochemistry how the methyl is in cis the same way i have arranged here also 
right don't change stereochemistry now for photochemical condition 4 and plus 2 system under photochemical condition it is con so what i have to do for con you change the stereochemistry here the orientation is in cis now i change the stereochemistry to trans trans means one wedge bond and the other in the dotted bond right so this is how you understand the terms okay so first question ask whether all pi bonds are involved in cyclization to form the product number 2 you can from that you can identify whether it is a 4n system or 4n plus 2 then apply woodward hoffman rule and check for thermal what is the uh, rotation and for photochemical what is the rotation and finally if you result in con you change the stereochemistry like if you have cis here you change to trans if you have if you get this if it is cis here you just change to cis the same cis for this okay because you should not change the stereochemistry for this rotation so mind this okay <coughs> see the next example you can identify it easily you have the methyl over here and the methyl one more methyl is not in the same way how the top methyl is given right so it is inward so you can tell that it is a trans geometry so i just rearrange i rewrite this uh, structure like this so the methyl is like this and uh, yeah, other methyl I put in trans portion. So now this is a trans compound. You should understand uh, what type of uh, uh, 4n or 4n plus 2 system this one. You know that uh, when you form the product all the pi electrons will be involved. So it is a 4n plus 2 system. 4n plus 2 system under thermal condition. What is the rule? 4n plus 2 under thermal it is dis. So here it is dis. For this you should not change the stereochemistry. So you get the same uh, you get the trans product okay you get the ring closed and you have the trans product for photochemical it is con and you know you will get a cis product so what you have to do now put both as wedge bond that's it so this is how you will solve it now in case of ring opening suppose the product is like this no stereochemistry but the arrangement should be proper you know that this is a foreign system okay so because um, like uh, two uh, two pi bonds are involved and you can see here how the ring opening is taking place c1 and 2 so it is a 4n system and you see for uh, heating thermal condition 4n heating it is con so you have to change the stereochemistry you know that this compound is cis right this compound is cis so under thermal condition 4n system is con you change the stereochemistry see here the cis is changed to trans so the options can be like this also you should understand it okay then for same cis compound i do this for photochemical foreign system you don't change the stereochemistry means same cis should come so cis means you have to put the two methyl groups in the same way how one methyl is there okay if your methyl is on top the other should be in bottom if you keep it inside it will be trans so here i need a same cis compound so i write like this okay so this is how you will do it now let's get back to that question which we left here <coughs> Consider the following electrocyclic reactions. Okay, so the first question, and you have to identify the con rotatory ring closure is involved in, in which the con rotatory ring closure is involved. Now you can identify easily. You see here, this reactant is cis. Yes, why these two hydrogens are in same way, so you call this as cis. Okay, now see the product. The product is also cis. So the stereochemistry is not changed. So you know that don't change the stereochemistry means it would have been involved dis only, dis rotatory. So this is a dis. So this is not our answer. Next question. See here the methyl and this methyl are in cis. This hydrogen and this hydrogen are in cis. Now see what has happened. Your product has completely changed to trans. See only the methyl itself. This methyl and this methyl are in cis. But now this methyl and this methyl are in trans so what has happened the stereochemistry is changed so change the stereochemistry means it is con so this is the correct answer now check for this same way when you do the ring closure it will be like this so the product is actually it is reactant is actually trans here the product is also trans so stereochemistry has not changed don't change stereochemistry means it is this that's it so the correct answer is option two option two is con rotatory okay hope you understood this so remember con means change stereochemistry this means don't change stereochemistry okay let's go to the other question it was asked in gate 2014 so you know this is your uh, still bean okay you know how still bean it will be if this is your uh, alkene that is ethene so in one ring you replace a hydrogen with phenyl and these are the hydrogens okay 
so HH and you have the phenyl groups attached over here so this is how your steel bean will look like and you can see here that is shown here and the hydrogens of the benzene ring is shown like this so don't get confused that this is also a ring okay so this is the question and you identify that this is cis steel bean because two rings are in the same direction so you call this as cis so your compound is cis now under photochemical condition compound a is formed and when you do oxidation uh, you get compound b you have to identify what is this see here this is your cis steel bean i can rewrite this like this right this one see so these two hydrogens are cis i have identified so i am writing in a dark wedge bond okay according to the option you can uh, rewrite it that's the thing now you know that it is 4n plus 2 how you should first think whether all the pi electrons are involved in cyclization here see you have many pi bonds not all are involved in cyclization only these three so this will come here and this will come here and this will go here see only these three pi bonds are involved in cyclization and not the other things okay in the ring so now a ring has been formed now right this is your compound a but before that you should know whether a cis or trans product will be obtained you know it is 4n plus 2 system yes and it is given that it is a photochemical condition for 4n plus 2 photochemical if you see woodward hoffman rule it is con con means you have to change stereochemistry see here it is cis i have changed it into trans so my product a the product a is a trans product and now what i do i do air and i2 or i do oxidation just do oxidation oxidation means removal of hydrogen and these hydrogens are removed and you see that you end up with the compound b this is your phenanthrene okay this you can call it as your phenanthrene molecule okay now this is how it now question number four identify the photo product so here it is given that it is a photochemical reaction and irradiation of trans still bean so it is a trans still bean now here and same way the previous question i2 or o2 is treated later now this is your trans still bean right 4n plus 2 system and h nu so 4n plus 2 under a photochemical it is con so you have to change the stereochemistry so after uh, doing the ring closure what i am doing is i am just uh, rearranging this compound and then when i pass light uh, it is cis so what happens it changes to trans because con means you have to change stereochemistry then you add i2 and o2 you end up with the molecule phenanthrene so answer is phenanthrene okay question number five in the following transformation made of electrocyclic uh, electrocyclization a and made of a product b r okay so what must have been done okay you have to tell whether it is a con or dis okay and then you have to identify uh, what is this product b okay but uh, we no need to consider this one okay if you don't have much idea about the synthetic organic chemistry you no need to bother much okay instead you can uh, find the answer simply by knowing the woodward hoffman rule and everything those things okay it was asked in december 17 csir let's discuss now first thing you have to notice always i am telling that first question is whether all the pi electrons are involved in cyclization that is the question you see here you can notice that this bond shifts here and this comes here and this comes here then only you get the product okay this product can be obtained you see here this bo pi bond and this pi bond see in the reactant pi bond has not involved in cyclization so you should not consider this bond so only three pi bonds are involved in cyclization that is six pi electrons six pi electrons belong to 4n plus 2 system correct so it belongs to 4n plus 2 system and not 4n be careful with that because this pi bond is undisturbed okay it is as it is so it is a 4n plus 2 system for 4n plus 2 under thermal condition according to woodward hoffman rule it is this right so you have identified a as this for 4n plus 2 under thermal condition it is this so you have identified so you have two desire so see here you have identified it is 4n plus 2 correct so i have only two and four with 4n plus 2 and you see 4n plus 2 under thermal condition it is this so this is your correct answer and uh, uh, okay so with this no option is there uh, apart from this so from this i can choose two you know that osmium tetroxide is uh, will result in the formation of cis diols right so it always gives cis diol so that is also an indication for you to confirm your answer okay okay good and now question number six <coughs> 
the following transformation proceeds through two consecutive thermal electrocyclic process which are dash so you know this is the reactant and product is given under thermal condition you identify the number of pi bond systems okay so for foreign system it is con okay the first conversion and the other conversion it involves 6 pi this you can uh, solve this question uh, from your woodward hoffman rule itself for last in csir june 16 okay the mechanism is shown here how the cyclization is taking place and how the product is formed okay this is how the mechanism don't worry about the con and this for here here you just uh, for that 4n and 6n is good okay and then you see here uh, seventh question in the following sequence of pericyclic reaction x and y are okay <coughs> Okay, so you have to find X. X means you have to find the product for this and Y means you should tell whether it is thermal or photochemical. Very simple. What you do, first you take this reactant and I do the cyclization. So first thing you should check whether all the pi electrons are involved in cyclization. And you can see here, okay, it will go here and come here, come here, come here and you see the ring is formed. Okay, this is how it takes place. So all four pi electrons, five pi bonds are involved in cyclization. So eight pi electrons totally. So four n system. 4N system under thermal condition. What is the Woodward Hoffman rule? 4N plus 4, sorry, 4N under thermal condition it is con rotatory. Con means you have to change the stereochemistry. So, what is happening? See here it is cis compound, right? It is cis. You have to change it to trans. See, you are getting a trans product because con. So, change stereochemistry. Now, what I do? This is my X. Now, I should identify whether it is thermal or photochemical. So, you just see the product given here. The product given here is trans, right? See, the X which you got is trans. The product is also trans, which indicates that trans, trans means the stereochemistry is not changed. So, it is dis. Okay. I have found this. I should know whether it is 4n or 4n plus 2. Yes, you see here, these two double bonds are undisturbed. So, don't consider this. Only this bond has been shifted here and you get the ring closure. Correct. So, only one pi bond is involved in ring closure. So, it is a 2 pi electron system. So, 4n plus 2. 4 into 0 plus 2. Correct. So, 4n plus 2 and you have identified it is this. You set the Woodward Hoffman rule, it will be for thermal condition. So, the answer is thermal. So, you have found X and Y is again thermal. Okay. This is how you will solve this problem. And you can see the question number 8. Find the number of nodes present in the HOMO of 135 hexatrine in its ground state. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So, you can see, uh, you have to find the number of nodes in the HOMO. So, first step is you have to identify the HOMO. I have taught you already this uh, trick. So, 135 hexatrine. Hexa means 6. So, 6 carbons are involved. So, to find that for HOMO and you have the one more term ground state. So, ground state corresponds to thermal condition. So, for thermal condition, this is the formula N by 2. So, 6 carbons. So, 6 by 2 is equal to 3. Okay, so psi 3 is your homo for your 135 hexatrine. They have asked for number of nodes. So number of node means you have to do n minus 1. So what is 3 minus 1? It is 2. So the answer is 2. Okay, this is how you will solve it. Okay. So, as I told earlier, this is that book which has been taken for reference. So, almost all many questions have been covered. Your gate, net questions are also solved in the solution. And one interesting fact is that along with the explanations, many problems are given. All the problems are with solution. So, no need to worry. So, you can get a lot of idea from this book. Okay. So, thank you.